Oh, hello guys. For those of you that started watching, just waiting for a few more followers uh, and a few more viewers. I'm going to be flying today from Nassau, Bahamas to Miami International. Uh, my name is Captain Darkbit, guys, and I'm going to be teaching you today how to do the proper procedures for the Ambatsam Network, what to say, what to do. Feel free to uh, ask me any questions on the uh, comment box below. I'm more than happy to answer questions for you. I'm also going to be showing you guys uh, ILS landings. I'm going to show you how to follow you, uh, how to follow the proper flight plan, how to do the sit stars, the sits and stars, and all of that. So I'm waiting for about 20 viewers, and I'm going to start the stream soon, guys. I'm just preparing everything as well. Hello for those of you guys that started watching, welcome to my page. Uh, don't forget to follow me and like this video and share it with all of your friends. I'm going to be showing you guys all of the basic uh, information you need in order to play in the VATSIM network. A uh, little bit of me, I'm a private pilot with instrument rating, so I'm going to share with you all of the knowledge I have in aviation and I'm going to share, share it with you, sharing it with you guys so you can have a lot of fun while playing online. Uh, just waiting for a few more viewers, so let's go ahead and give it a few minutes. Uh, we will start shortly. Marin Morales, thank you so much for following my friend. Appreciate the support. I'm going to be starting the stream shortly. I'm just waiting for a few more viewers. Feel free, guys, to uh, ask me any questions. Uh, I'll be paying close attention to the comment box so I can uh, help you uh, in the learning process. I know it could be difficult sometimes for beginners, so uh, I'm here to help you guys. Let's see... Oh, I'm also going to be showing you guys where, uh, where you can file the uh, flight plan uh, directly to VATSIM and how to do it. Uh, and it will do pretty much everything automatically for you. So I'm going to be explaining you all of that. Uh, I'm not going to be using checklists today. Uh, this is pretty much just a video for beginners and how to get from point A to point B and point C, which is landing. Uh, I'll be explaining you everything, guys. Hope you like this video. All right, guys, I think we can start here then. Hello, guys. My name is uh, Captain Darkvid, and today we're going to be flying from NASA to Miami International. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, for the support. If you just started watching, don't forget to uh, follow my page and uh, like this video and share it with all of your friends. Uh, this video, guys, it's for beginners only. Uh, I'm going to teach you guys the best procedures of... Uh, and what to do while playing on the VASIC network. So I would like to start with where do I file my flight plan? That's actually a great question. Oh, sorry. Looks like my, one of my instruments from my flight simulator is not working for some reason. There, oh, there it is. Okay, guys. So here you go. So best, best uh, website that you can use is called Seabrief. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can share the screen with you. Uh, same brief. Uh, here it is. I don't know if you will be able to see it from your screen. Let me go check my stream up. Uh, da, 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 display capture. Oh, here it is. It was showing. Yeah. Okay, so here you go. So, first thing, Simbrief. Simbrief.com. 
uh, you need to sign up and it's a free website okay you don't have to pay a single penny for anything usually uh, the flight simulation uh, the flight simulator hobby is a very expensive hobby uh, you will have to pay for a few things but I'm gonna show you how to do it for free and how to get everything accurate as possible uh, same brief here you go so let's go ahead and maximize the screen uh, let's just uh, do it a little bit so you can see the plane in the background so first thing you sign up after you sign up you're gonna go to dispatch this is where you're gonna file your flight plan okay then you're gonna go to create a new flight now creating a new flight uh, you're gonna go here airline in this case I'm flying with uh, Delta 738 so Delta 738 you're gonna put your uh, your airline code or airline call in this case it's gonna be Delta Alpha Lima standing for Delta Airlines uh, if you're using the basic and the default airliners in S Plane 11 uh, it's gonna be American Airlines uh, you can put on the airline call AAL Alpha Alpha Lima standing for American Airlines. If you're using Southwest, you want to put Sierra Whiskey Alpha. Uh, second is going to be your fly number. Feel free to use any number you feel comfortable with. Uh, in this case, the number I feel comfortable with is going to be, uh, why is it not typing? Uh, Delta 607. Why is 607? Because 607 was the uh, registration number for the uh, Cessna 172 when I was in flight school uh, years ago. Uh, so feel free to use any number on that part. So you, you don't forget that number when, when someone's calling you. Uh, departing airport is going to be the departing ICAO you're departing from. In this case, it's Mike Yankee November November, which is Nassau, Bahamas. Arriving to Miami International. So in this case, it's going to be what what happened there? Oh, there it is. So in this case, it's going to be uh, K M I A. Alternate Airport is going to be Orlando International. Every time, every time you finish typing the last letter of your arriving airport, it always comes this part automatically. Uh, date and Sulu time automatic again, guys. Uh, second part is going to be aircraft type. So in this case, I'm flying with a Boeing 737-800 or Boeing 738, which is the same thing. So let's go ahead and look for it. Uh, bam, there you go. 0.738. Climb profile, flight level 250280. That's going to be automatic. Cruise profile automatic. Descent profile automatic. Fuel factor, fuel factor automatic. Now, the fuel factor and all of that, you get it from the FMC right here, which I'm not going to show you this part today. This part is only for beginners. Okay. I do have a video on the uh, Boeing 738 Zebo mod showing you everything on the screen now uh registration number is you're gonna find it outside the plane and inside the cockpit so in this case if you want to check if you want to check for that number you always find it right here and inside the cockpit which is right there so that's the number you want to use here so uh, in this case it's november 3753 Bam. and fin number is always the last three numbers of the registration number ATC call sign is automatically Delta 607 now this part that you show right here optional entries is not optional actually you need that information so you can file your flight plan properly now you will ask me David so how do I know the deporting airport the arriving airport that's pretty much easy. So let's go. Let's get the depart the departure runway first. That's what I try to say. I'm sorry. So the departure runway first. You get it from the ATIS information where you are right now. So in this case, let's go ahead and connect to Squat Bots. Let me set up my audio first. Uh, wireless, wireless. Microphone speaker. Okay, there you go. Connecting to Squat Bots. Bam. Now. Second thing, if you're using Squat Bots, you're gonna go to plugins, Squat Bots, and show who's online. That's gonna show you the available air traffic controllers in the area. So as you can see, I have Tower Center 80s ground available. So what I need to do first 
it's, it's getting contact with ADIS. What are you going to get from ADIS? You're going to get your information, which is always a letter. Information, information, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, and so on. Always write that down because that information, you're going to give it to your uh, air traffic controller. Okay. Second, you're going to get your altimeter. So you know the altitude, where you are. Third, you're going to get the departing runways. Now, you can get a few more things like the ceiling, like the dew point, like the winds and things like that. But I don't think you're going to need that in this second if you're just a beginner in the VATSIM network, okay? So let's go ahead and put my radios for 80s at 118.7. So you're going to do it right here. But I have my radio panel, so let's go ahead and do it from here. So 118.7. And let's get the information. One zero, expect to hold short runway one four, seven four hundred feet available. All departures contact clearance delivery prior to taxi. All EFR traffic contact Nassau control 25 and M prior, expect vectors for sequencing. Advise on initial contact. You have information hotel. Okay, so information hotel. Pendling International Airport Ada's Information Hotel 2200 Zulu. 1160 at Niner. Visibility 9999. 20,000 scattered. Temperature 28. 2.22. Altimeter 2995. Arrivals expect ILS approach runway 14. Visual approach 10 available upon request. Land and hold short operations are in effect. Landing runway 10, expect to hold short runway 14, 7400 feet available. All departures contact clearance delivery prior to taxi. All EFR traffic contact Nassau Control 25 and M prior, expect vectors for sequencing. Advise on initial contact. You have information hotel. Okay, let's go ahead and do it one more time. Uh, Standing here, the uh, Pendling International runways. Airport Ada's Information Hotel 2200 Zulu. 1160 zero. Zero at Niner. Visibility 9999. 20,000 scattered. Temperature 28. 2.22. Altimeter 2995. Got it. Arrivals expect ILS approach runway 14. Visual approach 10 available upon request. Land and hold short operations are in effect. Landing runway 10, expect to hold short runway 14, 7400 feet available. All departures contact clearance delivery prior to taxi. All EFR traffic contact Nassau control. Okay, so looks like uh, they forgot to put the departing runways, but it's an ILS, uh, uh, ILS landing. On runway 14 and the official land is from runway 10. So uh, let's go ahead and check which uh, landing, uh, not landing, which runway is close to me. So let's see. So runway 14. So it's going to be this one right here. So that's the one I'm going to be using, guys. But hey, hey, hey. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Hey, um, so here you go. So uh, runway 14. It's going to be the runway right here. So let's go back to my scene brief. There you go. And departure runway, runway 14. Arriving runway. I don't want to get into that part, here, that part yet. So let's leave it in automatic for now. Uh, getting into here, extra fuel automatic, alt altitude automatic, passengers automatic. Uh, you don't want to get into all of that yet. Now, Second thing that we have here are the uh, fly routes, okay? Fly routes are going to be automatic here. You don't have to select anything or worry, or worry about which one you need to take or not. So let SimBrief do it for you. Uh, feel free to use any of the four that you have here, but always the most accurate and the most popular one, it's always going to be option number one for SimBrief. So that's going to be the one that I have here. Uh... Let me see. Okay, now after you get all this information, you're gonna go all the way down, and this is gonna be the flight plan. 
you know what for Miami uh, let me do it a little bit easier for you so it's gonna be runway one zero nine or east okay two seven west okie dokie Uh, you know what? Let's just leave it on runway niner for now. I'm not gonna be getting complicated. Okay, there you go. So this is actually the actual flight plan with all of the hits and stars. If you're wondering, so let's this uh, application do its magic for you, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, load it into your FMC as simple as possible. Uh, so this is the route you're gonna be taking to land into Miami International Airport to runway niner. Okay. Now that you have all of this information, you're going to scroll up and you're going to go to generate OFB. So after you're generating OFB, it's going to start loading. And voila, here you have it. So all your information is going to be right here. Airline Delta C07. Oh, it was automatically downloaded for me. Great. So Delta C-07, aircraft Boeing 738, call sign, origin, destination, altimeter, cruise, day, departure, or time. That's automatic routing, DCT, uh, ZQA, uh, with the flipper, set arrival, uh, plan optimal flight level, da, 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 da. there you have it. Now, guys, you don't need to print none of this. You don't have to even see it. So don't worry about that, okay? For now, again, this is for beginners. You guys, uh, the expert guys out there could be like, hey, David, you're not providing the right information. It's not that I'm not providing the right information. I just want, I'm just trying to do it as basic and as simple as possible for you guys to have fun. So uh, let's go ahead. Go, let's go down here. So you're going to keep scrolling down. And you're going to select your current flight simulator. In this case, it's going to be Edsplane 11. You're going to download it, which the system already did for me. And you're going to go to... Your, you know what? Let me do it for you so you can see it. You're going to download it. You're going to show it in folder. You're going to go ahead, right click it, copy, and you're going to go to your uh, Explain 11 folder. Or if you're using P3D or FSH, you can do it from there. I'm not familiar with those. Uh, Explain 11, and you're going to go where it says Output. Double click it, and FMS Plans. And you're going to go ahead and copy it on the FMS plan folder. Now, let me show you this and let me show you some magic. As soon as you've done that part, you're going to edit out of that. And you're going to go to your VATSIM. This is where you're going to file your flight plan. So, call sign Delta C07. Again, SimBrief did everything for me automatically. I didn't have to touch anything. It fails out the uh, whole flight plan form by itself. Uh, so Delta C-07, Boeing 738 light, uh, true speed 465 knots, departure is going to be NASA, uh, departure time 2245 Zulu, cruising altitude, two, uh, flight level 260 or 226,000, a route of flight, uh, my destination Miami, about 44 minutes, followed through scene brief and all the information right here, including my call sign, uh, not my call sign, my registration number and all of that. Fuel on board, about 2 hours and 18 minutes. Alternate airport is going to be Orlando. And VATSIM ID, that's the only thing you need to type. And your password, which I don't know it. So let's go ahead and check my phone real quick. Um, bam, that should, I should have my password here. Uh, yep, that's my password. Uh, password. And then you're going to go to uh, File Flight Plan. And bam, your flight plan was filed and will be retained for two hours so now i'm in my flight plan has already been filed and i'm ready to get my clearance now so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this screen on another side there you go and it's out of that and it's out of here and you're gonna go ahead and touch your fmc now you're gonna go to your FMC. You're gonna click where it says Route Menu, then Co Route List, and here you have it. Nassau to Miami International. So you're gonna go ahead and click it, and bam, it's already been uh, input into your FMC. 
okay so you don't have to type it in or anything like that it's automatically loaded into your fmc i won't be able to see it but i know it's already on my fmc yeah there you go so now what do i need to do first uh looks like nozzle center and my uh, nozzle ground is available so you need to get your clearance from delivery if delivery is not available as ground ground is not available as tower if tower is not available approach or departure if they're not available it's going to be center so in this case i have uh, nasa ground at one to one point seven first guys uh you want to make sure that they will be able to hear you so i would recommend you to always say radio check so let's go ahead and give it a try radio check Radio check. Radio check. I read you five five. Oh, wow. Okay, so he was able to uh, hear me five by five. Five by five is the highest you can get. Uh, depending on how loud or how low they can hear you, it's five by four, five by three, five by two, and so on. So now that I have not now that I know that they can hear me, first thing you need to do is get your clearance. So what do you need to do? What do you need to say? It's the following. Who are you calling? Who you are? And what are your intentions? I call it the triple W. Who you are? Who you calling? Who you are? What are your intentions? In this case, my intention will be getting my IFR clearance to Miami International. So how do you say it? Super easy. Uh, NASA International uh, Delta C207 requesting IFR clearance to Miami International. Uh, usually, they always read back your fly route. So they're gonna be telling you things like uh, Delta C207 clear to uh, Miami International direct CQA uh, 5,000 after departure, better flight level of 250, uh, squat mode 4444, and uh, squat mode yeah 4444 frequency this, and you will have to read it back to them. So let's go ahead and give it a try. For for those of you guys that started watching, welcome to my page. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you can find plenty of useful information here so you can go ahead and practice it on your own in the Avatim network. Don't forget to follow me. Uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends and in your page. Uh, and give me a like on this video. Your support is greatly appreciated. Uh, so now let's go ahead and call ground. Nasa Ground, hello, Delta 607 requesting IFR clearance to me. I'm international. Delta 607, you are cleared to the Miami International Airport via the Bahama Route 49 of Victor. Climb, maintain 4000, expect flight level 260, one zero minutes after departure. Departure will be 125.7 and squawk code 4605. Delta 607, clear to Miami International via the Bahama for departure. Expect 4000 after departure and the flight level of 260, squawk 4705. Frequency 125.7. Delta 607, your read back is correct. Advice is frequency and ready for taxi. I will, thank you. Okay, so uh, James Peña, thank you for the support, buddy. Thank you so much for following my page. Uh, so, okay, guys, so I have the Bahamas for departure, and I'm going to be flying 4000 after departure, expecting a flight level of 260 as filed. A squat mode four set zero five and frequency it's going to be one to five point seven so first thing i need to do is check my altimeter to two nine or nine or five so two nine or nine or five i'm a two nine or nine or two which is standard so let's go up two nine or nine or five terrific now for takeoff is flops five one five two Five. Yeah, there you go. Okay, second thing, uh, let's go ahead and set up my autopilot for now. So, super easy. Okay, one, four, three. Okay, you guys might be asking, so David, what are you checking on that part actually? I'm just checking the actual heading of the wrong way. So most likely when you're taking off, they tell you to fly runway heading until they give you further uh, instructions to uh, change your uh, your heading. 
So in this case, 143. Uh, my speed, it's going to be uh, 250 below 10,000. So let's go ahead and fly level 2, five, uh, speed of 250 below 10,000. Uh, as soon as you pass fly level 10,000, you can go up to 300. Or whichever option you want in this case. If you're, if you're trying to go fast or you're trying to go slow, it's up to you. Okay, so speed of 250, altitude it's going to be 4,000. That's going to be my altitude after departure until I get uh, instructions to go into a higher altitude. Now, uh, again guys, this is just for beginners. I'm not doing any type of checklist right now. So in this case, I want my flight direction on, outer shuttle on. Uh, I'm not using my outer shuttle yet. I'm just getting my autopilot uh, ready for um, ready for takeoff. So now I know that I'm facing uh, about zero eight zero. So I want to start facing. Let's see. So I can get my push back. Facing this way, so I want to be facing that way now so I don't think I need a pushback here I think I can do it by myself but let me show you this quick oh sorry let me show let me go ahead and show you this real quick this is actually a free add-on for S Plane 11 and is the best add-on besides the uh, uh, the free Zebo mod for the 738 it's called better pushback it is you can go to your plugins you have to download it first of course uh, you go to your plugins, uh, pre plan pushback, and you can select here, guys, the direction where you want to go. In this case, I'm trying to go this way, but uh, I think it's going to be a little bit hard to turn the plane that way. So, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it here, and I'll call for Tatsy right there. Okie dokie, so I'm good. Press enter. Alright, Captain, got the directions. Let me know through the menu when you're ready. Okay, so I'm ready now, so I pre probably uh, free plan. So better push by start. Push Great back. news, Captain, your toe's coming. Hey, for, do for those of you guys who started watching, don't forget to follow me on my page and like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Any question, guys, uh, feel free to type it in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to answer any question you guys have. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So I'm gonna be flying flight level two five zero. So my pressurized cabin is gonna be two five zero. Roberto Jimenez Vargas, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you for following me. Hey, for do for those of you guys who doesn't speak any English, I speak Spanish. So, feel free to type any questions in Spanish, okay? Alright, looks like the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to connect. Okay, ready to connect. So, doing my final check to inside the plane. Uh, my altimeter, that is correct. Uh, I mean, not my altimeter, my squat mode. Christian Cuts, thank you so much for following my friend. Okay, so altimeter, not altimeter, my squat mode, 4605. 4605. Bam. Uh, if you're using Edge Pilot, uh, you're going to find a little square that says Mode Charlie. If you're using squat belts like me, you want to go ahead and put your Welcome aboard, on Captain. altimeter. Welcome aboard, Captain. Toast connected, bypass pins inserted. Go ahead and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Okay. Releasing parking brake. Go ahead and see. No, that's my flight director. Oh, there you go, right there. Here comes the pushback. So, usually on some airports, you will have to get your clearance for pushback. Uh, but my air traffic controller told me that pushback is at my discretion, so that's why I'm doing it on my own. If the uh, air traffic controller does not give you clearance for pushback, you will have to request it. Just wanted to uh, put it out there. 
Uh, let's see. So, altimeter 299.5. Check. Uh, squat mode 4 sets of 5. 4 sets 0 5. I'm 4 sets 0. 4 sets 0 5. Let me make sure I have the same thing right here. Check. Check. Seat belt. Seat bales. Check. Uh, over here I need beacon navigation stroke. I don't need taxis or landings yet. And let's wait for this pushback. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. Parking brake on. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. Okie dokie. So one four three two five zero four thousand. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to use your level change I, instead of your vertical speed uh, selector right here. So level change uh, and vertical speed. So vertical speed is good. Uh, and we're disconnected. Signal and pin on the left. Take it easy and have a safe flight. All right, thank you. Okay, so vertical speed is good, but chances of you getting into a stall are way, way higher. So why do I recommend you level change? Because with level change, the plane adjusts the thrust to your... Uh, okay, hold on. So why do I recommend level change? Because level change adjusts your thrust in order to climb to the desired uh, altitude. Now, you can do the same thing with vertical speed, but you can show your vertical speed. And like I said, the chances of getting into a stall are even higher. So I recommend you to go uh, press level change and let the uh, plane take over the truss so you can apply the, uh, the good amount of truss so you can get to your climb. Now that, uh, my, ta uh, that my pushback is done, uh, I need to call for taxi. So in this case, I will have to call ground and request taxi. Uh, always uh, start with who you are, like I said. Uh, Randy, thank you so much for uh, sharing the stream. Appreciate it so much. So, okay, <laughs> I just got distracted. So, uh, what do I need to do? Who are you calling? Who you are? And what are your intentions? So, in this case, uh, NASA Ground Delta Six O Seven with Information Hotel requesting taxi to runway one forest file. Uh, you're gonna wait for an answer back. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and give it a try. Nelson Ground, hello, Delta C207 Information Hotel requesting Tachi to runway one for us file. Delta six zero seven, runway one for taxi via hotel, altimeter two nine 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 five. Delta C zero seven, Tachi to hotel, Tachi via hotel to one four, altimeter two nine nine five. Okay. So he told me that I need to taxi via hotel to runway 14 and he uh, checked one more time altimeter 299 or 5. So I'm ready to start my taxi. So in this case, taxi lights on. There you go. So let's start taxi. Again, guys, for, for those of you guys who started watching, don't forget to follow my page, like my video. Your support is greatly appreciated. Uh, this video is for beginners only if you're trying to get into the uh, BATSIM network. Um, always explaining what to do, what to say, how to file your, your uh, flight plan, and more. I'm also explaining you uh, some instruments and how to use them. I'm also showing how to do wireless landings, takeoffs, autopilots, and all of that. How to uh, 
put your flight plan into your FMC and, and a lot more and a lot more so let's have some fun flying today Randy, sí, claro que sí, yo también, yo también hablo español eh, muchos de las personas que tengo aquí hablan inglés pero pero uh, si tienes alguna pregunta con, con, con gusto te la respondo, claro que sí Coméntame, Randy, ¿tienes, ¿tienes alguna pregunta? All right, so, um, taxiing, and I need to turn right a hotel to runway 14. Also, guys, uh, like I said a little bit about my background, I'm a private pilot, instrument ratings, and I have a friend of mine that was in, in flight school, uh, A. Barro, and um, uh, he's going to be joining me in, I would say, maybe next week. He's actually an experienced Boeing 737-800 pilot. Uh, uh, he's going to be joining me in my next stream for next week. So you don't want to miss that. He's going to uh, show you guys everything inside the Boeing 738 by an experienced 738 pilot. So don't forget to follow me if you want to learn more about uh, all the instruments and how to properly fly the Boeing 737-800. Okay, so Tatsi, runway 14. Again, guys, don't forget to uh, ask me any questions. I'm here to help you. Okay, guys, if you can help me following my page, uh, you're going to find plenty of uh, information here. Delta 607, you can contact now the NASA Tower, frequency 119.5. See you. Contacting NASA Tower on 119.5. Thank you so much for your services. Have a great day. And same to you too, buddy. So, usually, uh, before you get to the whole show where they always tell you to change frequencies in, in this this case I'm not even holding sure uh, but so I have uh, I have clearance now to contact tower and 119.5 so let's go ahead and put on my radio tower and 119.5 I'm gonna hold sure and again guys who you are who are you calling who you are what are your intentions now let me go ahead and switch back to a cockpit view. Uh, oh, this is another thing. If you don't like the yoke uh, sitting right there, you can always press Y and that will disappear. Okay, so I'm going to be holding short right here. And again, guys, who you are, who you're calling, who you are, what are your intentions? So I'm holding short runway 14. So how would that sound? Uh, you will say Nassau Tower Delta 607 holding shore runway 14. Uh, what do I mean holding shore runway 14? That uh, that I have to stop right there, and I don't have. I, I will have to stop right there and get my clearance to uh, pass that line. Now, usually that will tell you things like uh, Delta 607 line up and wait. Line up and wait means that you can pass the whole shore and you can line up in the runway but you're not ready for takeoff yet or they can tell me delta c seven clear for takeoff runway one four flight runway heading or flight heading this or or, or it all depends on, on the situation so in this case let's go ahead and give it a give it a call let's see what they say radio check five by five nasa tower delta c seven holding show runway one four ready for takeoff Six zero seven NASA Tower, hold short one four nine in traffic three two. 
Oh, you turn on with walk forward, traffic at 3 2. Okay. So he told me that I need to keep holding short runway, uh, holding short on 1 4 because there's traffic coming at 3 2. So let's see. There it is. So traffic coming. So for now, I can start checking my instruments, something I didn't do. That's part of the uh, free flight check. So left, right, up, down, power on the plane. Okay, looking good. Taxi lights off. Landing lights on. Uh, let's go ahead and put my parking brake for now. So, reporting my instruments for takeoff, he said uh, frequency 125.7, which is Nassau Center. I don't see approach or departure available, so I'm pretty sure after takeoff, you're going to tell me to switch to uh, center. And that is 125.7. So let's have it here ready on my instruments or my radio panels. Just in case if they told me to switch, it's just you just press one button and bam, you're good to go. So there was traffic landing. And I think he just landed. Let's change to a uh, tower view. Huh. I don't see anything. Okay. Is he moving? Yeah, he's moving. Question 442, right turn at Echo, contact ground, point seven. Okay, so he's gonna be... Right turn on Echo and switching to ground one point one. Okay. So this guy is getting out of the runway at Echo Taxiway. So most likely I'm going to get clearance for takeoff in about a minute or so. Uh, Delta 607, NASA Tower, runway 14, line up and wait. Delta 607, line up and wait, runway 14. Okay, so that's what I was expecting. So let me show you a line up and wait. So what he means by line up and wait. Like it's playing before, I'm just gonna get in the runway, and you're just gonna wait for your clearance for takeoff. Hey, for those of you guys who started watching, uh, don't forget to follow my page, like this video, and share it with your friends. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to type any questions that you guys might have. I'm here to help you guys. Uh, as a beginner in the Vasant Network, it's pretty much difficult. Um, also, I'm kind of an instructor in VATSIM, and you can find me on the uh, VATSIM page in Facebook. Uh, feel free to ask me any question, guys. I know it's difficult, and I know sometimes our traffic controllers are not easy, or they don't have the patience to uh, guide you through. So, that's what I'm here for. Okay, so I'm lining up, I'm waiting. I line up. And let's wait for my clearance. I, I wonder. Delta 607, NASA hotel winds 160 at 9, when we 14, cliff takeoff, light when we're hitting. Delta 607, wind 160 at 9, cliff for takeoff, runway 14, flying runway heading. Alright, so clear for takeoff. Why is my outer throttle off? That's my quite oh. oh. There you go. Rick, you're up. Okie dokie. 
auto throttle on, auto idle on, and that will change. Pone la cámara a tus controles. <laughs> That's 607, contact NASA Center now, 125.7, see you. That's 607, contact NASA Center on 125.7, thank you for your services. Okay, seems like it doesn't want to get in, so let's see. Uh, NASA Center, Delta 607 with you are 2,500. One to five point seven. One to five point seven. Delta uh, yeah, six zero seven ready right to contact. Three thousand climatine flight load two six zero and cleared direct Fowey on course. Delta six zero seven climatine two six zero direct to Fowey. That's fine. Okay, so let's see. Uh, climbing to two. So it's zero, I can do my double change now. So two seats zero. And you know what? Why am I doing it from here? I can do it from my panel. And let's go ahead and check my flight plan real quick. Where's my flight plan? There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna be turning right. I passed it, so there you go. Why is my hold on, guys? I'm having a problem with my instruments keep changing. Altitude, altimeter, heading, niner, niner five, niner five. Okay, now it's it. That's good. Uh, two six. Zero. Let me check my instruments. Okay. Long win now. I'm following my traffic pattern. And I don't have time for this phone call. Jorge, thank you so much for liking the page, my friend. Really appreciate it. Okay. So let me go ahead and show you this, guys. Okay, so now following my flight plan right here, uh, let's file. Runway 14, getting back to my fly, uh, to my flight route. Wait, hold on. Let me see, let me see, let me see. It's inverting everything. All right. So you can see right here on my FMC now, I'm going to be following my flight route as file. Landing lights off.
Uh, my instruments are acting crazy. There you go. Luis Montiel! Come on, bro, how are you? Okay, so I have two seven six and it's heading two eight zero. Uh, I cannot align my plane because the uh, default doesn't let you do it right here on the IRS display. Uh, that, that is available in the Boeing 738 Sebo mod. So this is a quick example of what I was talking about guys you can see it right here on that uh, well I don't know if you will be able to see it from there but uh, it's the internal chat from uh, from the Vatsan network and there was a guy requesting IFR clearance to New York and uh, the depart, uh, tower told him where are you so he forgot to do the triple W who you uh, who you calling who you are and what are your intentions so I have my flight plan right here I mean my flight route I'm about a hundred and sixty nautical miles from Miami so I'm gonna go ahead and continue this flight plan and let's go ahead and check my flight plan right here Whoop. So I need my map, IFR, higher route. So I did my traffic border right there. Wait, what's that? That wasn't me. Okay, you can see it right there. So now I'm heading to Miami. Do you think my my instruments are acting crazy? I'm heading two seven two two seven two, but heading heading on no, my instruments two seven two, but heading two seven six. There's no there's nothing I can do about it on this part right here. But uh, let's see. Okay, so I am route. Okay, so I need to be flying over MYN. Oops, someone's calling me. Hey guys if you started watching please help me with a follow liking this video and sharing it with your friends okay so everything is looking good oh forgot nope oh yeah the system is working crazy Running lights. What's my taxi lights? Okay, so I have on my level change. Climbing to two set zero very slowly for some reason. There you go. It's getting speed now. Line number M. Mike Yankee Alpha Nancy. Okay, 
Okay, so far we gonna be taking Jerry Todd Fawi Todd uh, with a flipper stitch arrival for runway niner. Yup, runway niner. So so you can see guys this is the uh, the seam brief fly plan that they created for me again this is a free app uh, it's the same one I have on my FMC so this is the uh, my navigation so pretty much I'm gonna continue going straight and then I need to turn right heading about zero heading about three zero zero so let me go ahead and show you the flight plan here. So at Fawi, direct Fawi, as you can see right there. Oh, for Edry, thank you so much, buddy, for the support and for following. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please type it in the comment box below. I'm here to help you, my friend. Okay, so direct to Fawi. Wait, what was that? I thought they were talking to me. Uh, so yeah, direct to Fawi. As you can see right here on my FMC. So Fawi turning right about heading 300. So I'm going to be taking that way. And I'm going to start my flipper sit arrival. Let's see. Usually, guys, when you're flying... Uh... Uh, the fly level of uh, 300 and higher I always recommend to start your descent around 85 to 93 nautical miles at about a speed of 1800 on your vertical speed somewhere around 1700 to 2000 uh, hello Olamog 204 Foxhot heavy flutter 380 okay and two That's zero four fox struts. Now set a good evening. Squawk four seven four one. Okay, so I'm continuing, continuing my flight four route. Four seven four one. What a mock two zero four fox And about um, about one hundred and twenty nautical miles from Miami. Just sort of somewhere around there. So, pretty much, guys. Oh, there you go. Yes, I have Miami Center online now. Uh, when I got online, Miami Center was not available. So and I'm to the uh, 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 So you can see how to give me directions to land. Um, 30 miles to the east of the it, NASA VR flight awesome. level 380. I like when I'm when ready to send across the Fowley at flight level 220. I'm ready to descend across Fawi at uh, 220 or well, 204 Fox. Okay, so flowing. Ah, there you go. Terrific. For those of you guys that started watching the stream, uh, this video is only for beginners. I'm always sharing useful information for you guys. Who and Vertical 47, lead my airspace to the south and east. Send one center off the line. Sorry about that. <laughs> Terminate 3 to change crew. Good night. So for those of you guys who started watching, I'm always making videos. I'm going live uh, every other day. i uh, giving you guys uh, the best information possible for beginners to start having fun while playing on the Batsim network. Uh, if you just started watching, I recommend you to uh, watch this video since the beginning so you can see how to file properly the flight plan to the VATSIM network, what to say, what to do, radio communications. I explain everything in this video. If you think that I give you helpful information, don't forget to follow me on my page and give me a like on this video. And if you can share it, that'll be great too.
Okay, I think um I think I'm on Miami Center. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Okay, so direct to Fawi. So we continue flying here, everything's looking good. Okay, in the RAM, uh, Okay, so Delta 607 contact Miami Center 135.17 good day. Delta 607 contact you Miami Center 135.17 have a great day. Okay, so I got my clearance to uh, switch frequencies to Miami Center. Miami Center, hello Delta 607 with you, apply level 260. <laughs> Delta Sid Zero Seven Miami Center, welcome. Miami Center, quick question: uh, Is Miami landing east or west? Delta Sid Zero Seven Miami is landing east. I'll put up an ATIS now. Thank you. Delta Sid Zero Seven Cross Flipper at maintain one two twelve thousand Miami altimeter two nine nine and five. Delta 607, Passy Flipper at flight level 12,000, or 29095. Okay, so 29095, uh, Flipper at 12,000. So I'm going to start my so descent. So one, expect the visual approach, runway Let's one, go ahead and start my left. descent now. So vertical speed of 1800, uh, altimeter. Down to twelve thousand. So starting my descent. What am I starting my descent? Because Tower told me that I need to pass Flipper at a flight level of two kilobob on radar contact altitude. I need to pass Flipper at a flight level of one two zero. So I'm about two kilo papa to turn right. Uh, clear direct treasure on my FMT, maintain, as you level can see here. So I need to go. I need to be here at Flipper at a flight level of one two zero. Like I mean, a flight level of one two twelve thousand. Left silver wings one. Sorry, we had to refill our margarita again. Damn, that goes by now, fast. Now, for those of you guys who started watching, you telling me how? Wow, David, how do you how do you get that map? Usually, point. when you file your yep. flight plan for Team Brief, it's always going to show you the fly route. So you can always. Compare this one with the uh, with the uh, default one right, right here on the screen. The 3369 radar contact, I maintain 5000, turn left, heading 320, vectors for the ILS, runway 10 left approach. Uh, turn left, heading 320. Uh, Okay, and so for some reason he didn't put my vertical speed at 1800, <laughs> so I missed a little bit of time right there. So I put it at 2000 now. Uh, four, five, six, seven. I'm sorry, I have it on 4367. My apologies. 
Miami said a good day. Oh, I'm walk two zero four four so heavy flat over three eight zero. Two zero four four Australia Miami Center, welcome. One second. Sorry, uh, wrong, uh, wrong chat. <laughs> yep, I might have to call the FAA on you. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. We'll FedEx you a margarita. <laughs> Martinez is one twenty-two uh, Miami Center. Expect the PDC. No, it's funny. That's things that happens here in the Vatship Network, guys. It's they're they're funny. All right, so let's see. Going back here, let's go, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, my speed at 260. EPS 1017, ready right? for push back and start up. EPS 1017, push start target, discretion, expect runway 8 left for departure, advisory 10C. Expect an 8 left, look over and ready for task EPS 1017. I think I'm too high. So let's go ahead. Attention, all aircraft information. One, Indiana, no, current at Miami, one. wind 020 at 3, altimeter 295. India, Miami. Information, India. Okay, got it. Uh, 3369 turn left heading 270, the center maintain 3000. Alright, that 3000, left to 270, West Jet 398, the center maintain 4000. 4000, West Jet 398. Okay, so. I need to pass flipper at flight level 1, American 2, 12,000. 14, 41, go ahead. Uh, I for the camera, There you go. Then I'm gonna go from there to Lofty and Lissit and then Jotko. Uh, Tampa, request IFR to Key West. It's a uh, King Air, actually Beechcraft 74 Hotel, Miami Center. Good evening. Clearance on request, stand by your number two. Number two, 727410. Rank 1441, I have your clearance supplies ready to copy. Forty one clear to Tampa via the Winko to departure, then as filed. Correction, clear to Tampa Airport via the Winko to departure, then as filed. Maintain five thousand, click level two zero zero ten minutes after squawk four five zero three. Alright, clear to the Tampa International Airport via the Winko to departure, climb five three two zero and ten and four five zero three box forty forty. Airport forty one read back correct, it's like runway eight right by ready taxi information India is current. India on board, uh, advisory to Tampa, 1440. Going to maintain 8,000. Okay, so Miami International is landing east. So 8, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to follow my flipper sets. Delta 980, wire space to the north, Jacksonville Center is closed, ready to resist terminal. Flipper sets okay. to land east of Miami. For you, for those of you guys who started watching, welcome to my page. If you like right this again, video and you think that information and gave is helpful for closed, you, right don't forget to like it, share it, and follow me at Captain Darkett. Thank you for the support, guys.
All right, so let's see. I'm almost there. So five. We have to go your location here like this. Going up. Number nine eight seventy five. Clearance on request. Stand by number two. Air Maroc 204 Fox Rock Class Flipper at a maintain 1 2 12,000 Miami altimeter is 2995. Crossing Flipper at uh, 1 2000 and altimeter 2995 for Air Maroc 204 Fox Rock. Okay, so flaps 5 because I'm on a speed of 250. So let's make sure I have my flaps on 5. Flaps 10, nope, flaps 5, there you go. Delta. Delta, this is with you, climbing to 11,000 for 14,000. Bahamas, 43 Miami Center, climb maintain, fly level 250. Thirty-three sixty-nine. Turn right, heading zero seven zero. Okay. So thirty-three sixty-nine. This is maintain two thousand. So keep going straight. As soon as I get to Lofty, which is right here. Delta six zero seven. Expect the ILS approach runway niner. Delta six zero seven. Expect the ILS approach runway niner. Okay, so lovely waypoint. Yeah, lovely right here. That's a waypoint. So at uh, lovely, uh, we'll have to adjust my heading. Uh, we'll say maybe around 310, 305. Miami Center. So I can start uh, getting into my. Well, I'm already on flipper set arrival. So I can. Uh, I can continue with my flight right, plan as well. 158 Miami Center, Squawk 4531. 4531, American 151. Okay, so I think I gave my passengers enough time to go. Uh, use the bathrooms and walk around the cabin. Uh, I'm gonna be putting my seat belts on in about five minutes. Or should I start putting it now? You know what? 3369 is 10 miles from Pi on turn right. Uh, Fly heading 070, maintain 2000 until established. For those of you who started watching and um, for the okay, ones that have been uh, watching uh, since, the, uh, right since right I started streaming. Uh, uh, Senator told me that I need to expect an ILS approach for. But the city or seven descending, I'm maintaining 8,000. 398, this is maintain 3,000. Turn left heading 180, vectors to final. Okay, give me one second. 3,180, West Jet 398. So, Senator told me that I'm inspecting ILS approach for runway niner. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do an ILS landing. How about that? So uh, I think it's a little bit early, but uh, I would like to uh, set up Air my Force, ILS location. approach uh, now, just in case I forget. I don't have a first officer or a pilot next to me. So guys, this is super easy. Uh, you're gonna go to the map. Air Force One, then, then you're still not up. in my airspace. Uh, you're gonna go where it says IFR low and route. So this is Miami mm -hmm. International, mm -hmm. expecting an ILS approach runway Perhaps 9. One, this is maintain 4, You're going to click the, uh, the localizer, the, the, the localizer, so and it's going to show the... So uh, one and left down, went for runway 1, 9 or left. Clear for the visual approach. Cleared visual, uh, silver wings 1. Okay, so 110.9er, you want to use this frequency, and you're going to put it on your navigation contact 50 miles uh, radio west of the right right west VR file. So 110.9er, 110. 398 traffic off your left wing in about 7.5 miles, a Delta 737 report in sight. Okay, and you're going to switch it to active. Another thing you can do, you can just click here, uh, 2 navigation 1 and 2 navigation 2. 
And that is yeah, the frequency for your traffic island off your approach left wing, nine or for miles, Delta uh, 737 for traffic in sight. For your traffic landing. Not in sight. Now no, I need to adjust and start right, hitting. Turn left, zero. heading 070, intercept the runway 10 zero left localizer. 070, intercept 10 left, Westjet 398. Delta 3369 field straight ahead in 1-1 one, one miles report in sight. I do not have the field in sight at the moment, but I do have the localized capture. Just hang on to it. Roger. You're clear for the ILS 10 left. Clear for the ILS 10 left. Delta 3369. Okay, guys, you might be asking, David, what are you doing? I'm just following my flight plan uh, for the Flipper Sits arrival. Oh, you're not getting the clearance for your arrival? Yes, I am getting like, my uh, clearance UPS because there's a file. So every single airplane coming this way has to follow the uh, the, ar the Flipper Sits arrival the same way. So now Delta let's lower the speed. Delta C-07, maintain 6,000. Delta C-07, descending to 6,000. Okay. Center now, uh, let me go ahead and put my speed at 210. American 1285, Miami Center, Squawk 4761. And flaps in. 61, so, okay, guys, so I have this uh, thing right here, which is the uh, frequency for the uh, localizer for runway niner, 21 and uh, 2 navigation 1 and 2, so it automatically goes here and there. Uh, then, as soon as I'm start, right now I'm downwind. Uh, runway 9 or right, as American, soon as I start hitting, uh, contact, just over Mets, downwind, final, base, final, as soon as I start, start turning base, uh, they're going to start giving me vectors for the uh, runway, and then they're going to tell me to intercept localizer, I uh, intercept the localizer, I will click VOR localizer, I uh, will switch this thing right here to VOR, on my navigation, uh, and uh, the uh, plane's going to move by itself, intercepting the localizer to be aligned for the runway nine. American so 1285, just for a little bit of separation, maintain Mach point eight zero or less. Zero or less, American 1285. Okay. American 158, close, Curso, Adam, maintain 1010, uh, we'll 10, 10, 10, 10, Miami, Altimeter 2995. Please be seating with the silver sun, thank you. Woo. Okay, guys. So every I'm looking good for the uh, landing. Three sixty nine Lauderdale. Looking good. Looking good. Three zero zero at one two gusting one niner runway one zero left. Clear to land. Clear to land. Delta three three sixty nine. Miami Center, Silver Wings one turning final for uh, runway one nine left. Uh, Tampa. Silver Wings 1, Tampa wins. 170 at Sits, runway 19 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 19 left, Silver Wings 1. UPS on 17, hold it short. Alright, says Dolphin Mall, BOR. UPS oh, wow. 10, <laughs> 17, R and Apps and Orange, runway Miami. 8 left, clear to land. Win 360 at 8. At Lima, Peru. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go check that out. How about that? Is 1017, RNAF Sonoy, Miami wins 360 at 8, runway 8 left, clear for takeoff. Hey, for those of you guys who started watching, thank you for following my page. Uh, if you haven't followed me yet, go ahead and click the follow button so you can get notifications every time I go live. And I'm always giving basic information for beginners. That's what my page is all about for beginners. Okay, so uh, I think I'm good now. So they're gonna start telling me to start. Uh, I'm gonna be inspecting vectors now. Air Francis 51, leave my airspace to the east, New York oh, Radio South now. Line Radar Services Terminator. For it hasn't been proof. going down. What? Oh, Jesus. End of November 9875 at Florida Executive Taxi. What happened, man? Number 9875, runway 9 or Tatsu Via Lima. So let's go uh, here. 
Oh wow. I'm too high. Oh, he hasn't given me any vectors yet. Right. Delta Z07 does not maintain 3000. With the C07 descending, I'm maintaining 3000. West Jet 398, Lot of Bell, Winds 300 at 1 2, gusting 1 9 or runway 10 left. Clear okay, land. so. Looking I'm looking good again. Looking West good. Jet 398. Watch him paying attention on uh, the uh, Denny and Hockey Vamer. Lot of Bell is at right 1 8 to the center 6000. Thanks, everyone. Double 0 to 69. So let me make sure. Uh, frequency 110.9er for the ILS approach, runway 9er. Check. Uh, arm, uh, speed brakes on. There you go. Green light right there. Anti skid all the way, mats. Uh, anti skid. You don't know what it is. Cross so I maintain and that's going to activate my speed brakes as soon as the uh, plane touches the ground. PS 1017, radar contact, climb and maintain. Request, uh, that's the ramp straight ahead. Good God. UPS 1017, radar contact, climb and maintain. Uh, UPS 1017, 7000. Oh, it's raining in Miami. Silver Wings 1, you said you were going straight ahead to the ramp? Hey, hey yeah, affirmative. It's raining in Miami. Tassi, straight ahead to the ramp. Good day. John Crawford, thank you so much, my ramp, friend, for following my page. FedEx Margarita, uh, thank you for the support. One. For those of you guys who started watching, uh, don't forget to hit the follow button so you can get notifications when I'm online. And if you follow me, your support is well appreciated, and that will keep motivating me, guys, to, to keep helping you in the back of the Sierra. Delta Sit 07, turn right, heading 060, vectors for the approach. Delta Sit 07, turning right, heading 060, vectors for the approach, runway 9 Remember, it's Charlie Sit, Bravo Golf Sierra. Charlie Sit, Bravo Golf Sierra, Miami Center. Okay. Shelter, so, um, pretty much doing a no, turn base slash final, but somewhere in the middle. Uh, but I'm expecting uh, vectors for the uh, final. So, 175 right here. And 320 hits Miami Center. I'm not showing a flight plan no. for that. Call sign, please refile. File 327. Uh, vectors for that, so let's go ahead and turn on my localizer. November 9875, fly runway heading and the executive wind. Localizer. Localizer. Nine runway so, guys, I'm going to be doing so an ILS landing for runway niner. 921, do it, Charlie. So I already have my uh, my VOR localizer, so I can intercept the localizer. All right, everybody got. Uh, as you can see, I cannot see anything. This, this is actually this was the perfect scenario for this video. So I can't see anything. I'm every I'm just flying through my instruments and following guidance from ATC. Delta Sit zero seven is eight miles from grid. Maintain three thousand to establish clear ILS runway nine approach. Delta Sit zero seven maintaining three thousand to establish uh, to runway nine right ILS approach. Uh, so let's see. I'm a sender. Hello, Spirit Wings three zero nine or light wolf three six zero inbound feedback. So establish means until you intercept the localizer. Three zero nine, Miami Center, Squawk Ident. So I'm not touching anything, guys. I'm just waiting for the uh, plane to start intercepting the localizer. I'm so right I'm now I'm heading zero six zero, which has the uh, vectors that the uh, Center gave me for Miami International. BBM so this may be should Miami be Center intercepting localizer soon. Uh, as you can see right here, radar contact uh, This the line dog, tells me uh, tells me my direction if I'm aligned to the runway. So I didn't touch anything, guys. So as you can see, uh, uh, the, the plane evening, started November turning by itself because it just intercepted the localizer. And I'm looking to this pinkish. Uh, Number diamond nine, to be in the middle right there, it means I'm perfectly six, six, aligned for runway niner. Four, seven, six, in this case, uh, landing gear down. And this part right here has to start going down, so let's go ahead and start the approach. Approach here, approach here. 
Now I'm on final, so landing lights on. 14, 41 RNFs and only wrong way right. Now what I'm looking guys is I'm perfectly aligned to the wrong way right now. How do I know? Because the pinkish diamond's right during the middle. And this diamond has to come but down all the way here in order to be altitude. perfectly at the perfect angle of attack to uh to land on the way nine. High possible pilot deviation. Your last time was two thousand feet up the departure. What's you do? Number nine eight seven five. Climb and maintain one three thousand. Turn left, heading two nine or zero. One thousand left, heading two nine zero. Okay, guys, so you can start seeing here. It's not doing anything. Martin Air, 16, uh, I'm at the perfect 22, RNF, angle of attack. Niner, well, angle for a runway uh, Niner Ride. It also says that I'm at the perfect altitude to land on that runway. Delta 6100, Miami winds variable. It sits runway Niner. Clutter land traffic departing prior to your arrival. Caution, wake turbulence. He's a seven. He's okay. a heavy seven forty. I'm at ten three thousand. This deactivated by itself because the plane is doing the approach by itself. So it's adjusting the altitude in order to Miami land. wind variable at six. Runway diner. Clutter land traffic departing prior to your arrival. Caution, wake turbulence. He's a seven forty seven. Delta six zero seven with it sets variable. It's uh, expecting runway niner. Uh, wake turbulence due to uh, Boeing 747. Verify clear to land runway niner. The C07 clear to land runway niner on final. Alright, so in this case, speed 162. Uh, Miami, November 921, June 20, blasting a runway and type of approach at Fort Lauderdale. Ahora, te llamo. Davo, if you're watching, Number ya te llamo. Uh, John Crawford, I'm using X plane 11, my friend. Cross decal at and maintain 6000. Lauderdale altimeter 296. Cross decal at 6000. Uh, for Lauderdale, could you please uh, confirm runway what to expect? Number 9212, Charlie, you can expect a runway assignment while you're closer. Fucked. Okay, guys, so I'm still looking good for the arrival. Uh, passing through 1000. Descending, uh, this time will have to be right there in the middle, that's going to be changing soon. Uh, perfectly aligned to the runway. Those are my minimals. Number 7274 Hotel Miami Center. Can't see anything, guys. Perfect scenario for this landing, ILS landing. With an ILS approach. Number 7274 Hotel, I did. So if you started watching, oh, 1000. So if you started watching, guys, uh, I'm pretty sure that you have learned so far how to uh, set up your ILS approach for the Boeing 737, how to get the frequencies and all of that. Wings three zero nine. Our pilot discretion center maintain flight level two four zero. Seven two four zero. Okay, so I'm looking for two yellow. Giant three twenty six. Oh, wow, what happened here? Four five two seven. Oh wow, everything changed. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, at 200, I will deactivate my Apollo at and maintain 1414,000. Orlando Ultimate 2988. Orlando 2988 and cross Apollo at 40,000. Okay, guys, so looking good. 100. Living 380 for 6,000, November 921, Dulitardi. Number 2 kilo volume, we're going to the north, Jacksonville Center is closed, radar services terminated for pizza chain shipper of good day. Number 2 kilo volume, we're going to the north, Jacksonville Center is closed, radar services terminated for pizza chain shipper of good day. That was a great landing. That was a great landing.
And uh, Miami Giant uh, 326. Whoa, what happened to left uh, heading here? 150 for weather. Giant 326, radar contact, 20 miles north of the treasure VOR. Flight level 3, sits 0, turn left, turn to 150. My approved. instruments are going crazy. Oh, there you go. 5122, radar contact, sea altitude. That was a great landing. ILS landings, guys. With an ILS approach. I hope you have learned a lot today. How to uh, do everything the right way, the proper way. I try to do it. I try to do this video as simple and as basic as possible. So let me hold short right here. Center maintain 4000, Radar 204 Foxer. Raven 158, expect the ILS runway 8 right approach. The center maintain 8000. Okay. ILS so three eight 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 we have to give them American one fifty eight. United twenty three only thing I have thought of Cleveland. I'm going out of there. At thirty three forty six Miami Center clearance on request and buyer number three. Miami Center Delta C two seven hold the short runway niner at Tango three requesting touch its gates. Delta 07, uh, taxi to the gate via Tango, cross runway 1 to a Tango. Delta 07, continue touching via Tango, press runway 1 to a Tango. Okay, so let's do it. For 9875, clear direct Winko. Guys, I would like to know. Winko, 9875. Air Maroc 204, Foxtra, turn right heading 360, vectors to final. Turn right heading 360, Air Maroc 204, Foxtra. Hey guys, I would like to know if this video was helpful and full of information for you. If I was able to answer any questions you guys have, if I was able to do something today, let me know. And don't forget to follow me. And that will keep motivating me in order for you guys to keep teaching you. And uh... And having some MR two zero four Fox Rose and maintain three thousand. Send to maintain three thousand for a mock two zero four Fox. And Rock two zero four Fox Rod, continue right to turn heading zero eight zero. Continue right turn zero eight zero on a mock two zero four Fox. Regular one fifty eight is gonna maintain six thousand. Six thousand, regular one fifty eight. I'm gonna give you guys a PDC, but stand by. I got four. You guys, right if you now. see new viewers on the screen, uh, uh, I just landed in Miami International. I uh, flew from Nassau, Bahamas to Miami. Uh, Bahamas 43, the center maintained flight level uh, 180. If you watch this video since the beginning, uh, Miami you can center, see November where I found Julie Charlie unable decal mm -hmm. at 6,000. You can see how I file my uh, flight plan, uh, how I do uh, it, and everything uh, as uh, Julia, Charlie, turn left, heading and one also eight zero today was for the your perfect descent. scenario for an island. Turn left, heading one eight zero. Number one, twenty one, twenty one. Video. I was saying maybe two zero four. Fox was nine miles from grid. Turn right, heading one two zero. Maintain three thousand until established. Clear the ILS. Runway nine approach. Very helpful for you. Heading one two zero. Clear the ILS. Nine approach. Maintaining three thousand. Still established. On a one two zero four. Fox. American 1235, this is going to maintain 6,000. 6,000, American 1235. American 158, this is going to maintain 4,000. American 158, this is going to maintain 4,000. 4,000, American 158. And a giant 326 heavy, we can go direct uh, Ford. Giant 326. Clear direct Mosey, actually, clear, clear direct Betoga, cross Betoga, at a maintain 1 3, 13,000, Miami altimeter 2994. 2994, uh, but, um, Betoga at 1 3,000 for Giant 326 Heavy.
American 158, turn wow. right, heading 120. Okay, so I'm passing runway 12 because they got the clearance for passing runway 12. American 1285, reduce speed 210. To the gate. 210, American 1285. American so 158, speed 210. 210, American 158. Amarok 204, Foxtrot, wind at Miami Variable at 6, runway 9, or clear to land. Thank you guys for your support today. 204, Foxtrot. 158 is 11 miles from Cobra, turn right heading 120, maintain 3000 till established on the localizer, clear ILS, runway 8 right approach. Thank you guys for the support today. Uh, I recommend you to go ahead and check this video since the beginning. 1285 to maintain 4000. And uh, if you think this video was helpful and, fun and full of information, don't forget to uh, follow my page and like this video. Thank you for the support, guys. Uh, I'm about to verify climbing to five level three three zero about five minutes. Uh, possibly going live again tonight around nine -er Eastern Standard Time. Number nine two one Judah Charlie uh, turn nine right PM. heading three five zero nineteen time. We're at three five zero number nine one nine two one Judah Charlie. Alright, the guy said a lot of deal. If you give me three more minutes I'll give you all your PDCs. Hey, Moraine Morales, okay. thank you so much, my friend. Uh, see you next time, and I hope you liked it and you learned a lot today. Whoa, right, look at this guy. Verify your oh. heading 120. Hey, show some respect, man. You have to keep the way for the point seven three seven. Look at this guy. Oh, at least he's stopping, man. <laughs> oh, he keeps moving. Hey, be careful! Yo, 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 yo! Almost 43 contact Nassau Center 1.5.7. What is he doing? Uh, Crutch my engine, man! Can you? <laughs> What's going on with American these people, 158 man? is five miles from Copra, maintain 3,000 to the established clear to ILS runway eight right approach. Again, 1285 is seven and a half from grid, maintain 3000 until established, cleared ILS, runway 9 approach. Cleared ILS, runway 9 approach, maintain 3000 until established. Again, 1285, reduce speed 170. 170, American 1285, you got traffic straight ahead, five Whoa. miles, a company 737, he's going for the ILS, eight right, you're going for the niner. Update, got that traffic in sight. Hi, Emmy Center Giant 326 Heavy. Just for planning purposes, we're going to require a 09 right for weight. Giant 326 Runway Niner, I think you meant. That's correct. Okay, okay. Like thank you so much, guys, for uh, give me some company today. Stream. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh, let me contact go ahead and Orlando disconnect from the Master Network. Good day. You type any questions in the comment box. I'll be more than happy to answer it for you. Uh, usually I like to uh, show appreciation to my air traffic controllers by saying good night or something like that. Then 6122 on able right turn for traffic. I can give you either a left turn. That's all I can give you or straight ahead a climb out. It's just that uh, the weather's to our left and straight ahead, um, and we are struggling to climb. Miami Center, Delta, C207, thank you so much for your time. Have a great night. Number 921, Julia Charlie, clear direct. Okay. So I have disconnected from the Vatsim network and open to any questions you guys might have. Uh, okay, hold on. Avionics off. Southwest 6963, uh, NASA Center. So I'm open to Turn any right questions, guys. If you're watching Victor. and if you will start Climb watching, and 1, uh, if you have Please any questions, go ahead and type it in the uh, comment box below. Uh, I'm gonna be here in about, I'm gonna be here about five minutes or maybe longer, uh, answering questions. Uh, five, six, 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 so six, six, I'm watching the stream. Just type it and I'm answering for you. I'm here to help you guys.
Southwest 963, you're clear direct Bimini, Zulu, Bravo, Victor. Number 600, Charlie Bravo, do you require for the flight following? Nassau Center, American 1785, what do you read? 1785, loud and clear. Okay, thank you. Uh, we do Guys, I'm here waiting for questions. Uh, well, I only have two viewers. Special contact Miami Center, 135.17. Uh, Since uh, I only have uh, three viewers right now, uh, if you have any questions, guys, go ahead and comment in the uh, comment box below. Uh, about two three minutes before I disconnected I'm uh, willing to answer questions if you started watching don't forget to follow me uh, in today's stream I flew from NASA to Miami International full traffic control since the moment I requested taxi on the moment I landed and request the uh, request taxi to the gates uh, perfect scenario for ILS approach and a ILS landing uh, due to the conditions, the weather conditions in Miami, uh, there was no visibility at all. So I uh, did a complete instrument flight, uh, including the uh, vectors and intercepting localizers, setting up the ILS approaches and all of that. So if you started watching, recommend you to watch this video. Thank you so much, guys, for the support. I'll see you another time.